and we are back with episode 84. We are rolling right along, and 88 is just around the corner. I'm very excited for 88. Um, but we have two more episodes to do tonight, and these are some cool parts. Like, I'm not actually sure what I'm looking at yet. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Right? This looks kind of like... I don't know. What is that? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Maybe it's just, I mean, it kind of looks like the, you know, water tank or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All this stuff looks kind of weird, right? It's definitely not time machine parts. Watch it be time machine parts. <laughs> it's not. It's stuff that goes inside the engine. And that is what it looks like. Um, engine bay. <laughs> if I had only read that, I would have known. All right, let's just jump in though and get through this issue all right step one take part 84 e and push the two brackets 84 f in place as shown so you got that black piece and the two brackets that are silver like so okay and ap screws let me jump on that for you oh did you already dump out the ap screws no you did I don't remember doing that, but okay. Maybe it was open. All right. Well, I thought I thought you wanted me to change that. It's getting late. Okay, fire those in there and let's let's get through these because they're boring parts. AP. So four AP screws, and then the next thing will be the uh, the water tank. Also with AP screws. I'm gonna go ahead and put these together because it's kind of obvious how they go. Water tank, okay. that when you get done with what you're doing and then the lid to the water tank which I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in there unless you mind too bad it's done and then more AP screws will affix the tank to the brackets that you're installing now. This is the 100 AP issue. Everything's in AP. Okay? Right? So it goes, this is the way that it should be oriented for you. The lid goes towards the left fire in four AP screws and I'm gonna look ahead because I'm trying to get through this one fast because it's boring okay step seven fix part 84 C in place with an AP screw as shown shocker another AP screw okay Good times. Yeah. AP screw after AP screw after AP screw. Can you hold this down? Yep. Looks good. So we've got the uh, the tank. 
uh, situated on the panel and that is going to go on the inside kind of like this is how this sits in the real car okay um, but you're not done yet right so you got that bar and you that goes on with an AP screw of course shocker okay my hands are getting tired yes well gunga din better you than me that's how you get muscly okay that's right it looks good man come on let's get on let's get on with it whoa DM screws at least there's a little change up happening they're big so you need a, a you bigger skipped. head oh man I did I skipped yeah the little corner cover uh, which goes here like something like that here that's the general area it looks like the hole is a, goes away from it yeah so there's a tab and the tab fits in the hole right in the groove slot whatever does it really there we go okay so it does it, it pops in. Snaps in it snaps in and do you screw it in anything nope nope but step 12, take the assembled engine surround, also known as the pontoons, okay? And they want you to flip it upside down. And you probably don't want to, like, press on it too much because there's all this good stuff you don't want to wreck. But you want to install what you just built. And that is not... No, no. They say the assemble. oh, okay, so when they say the assembled part, they're talking about this part, not the part you're going to add to it, okay? You're going to add this. It's not this, I'm telling you, okay? That goes on here, or, well, it's upside down, so here. It, this is the one that goes here, okay? And you're going to put that on with two big DM screws. <laughs> Okay. And there's two little, I don't know what they call those, donut, I don't know, tabs with a hole in it that the DM screws go through. And Remember, this is plastic, but the uh, the pontoons part is metal, so you really want to... That's good. Okay. Then, let's go with the instructions, though, okay? Because you never know, this might be a problem if you go out of order. In step 17, push part 84D into position and fix it in place with two DM screws in the holes provided and how does this fit with this is it like does it just touch or is there a groove or it touches it just kind of kind of lines up okay one more it's getting late right yeah you can't you like reach for stuff and you fall over dropping screwdrivers Poking yourself under the fingernail. Ah, oh, that hurts. Okay. You all right with that whole like popping thing? It could be that you're going off at an angle, right? And now, the last of the three sides, and this is the one with the water tank and everything, okay? Like this? Yes, and the other end of that bar is going to, you know, has to go under that lip, right? And you're going to throw a screw in there later, okay? Cool. 
one more, man. One more. And then we're on to step 17, which is turn the assembly over and secure the end of that rod with an AP screw. Which means you have to change the heads, okay? Then we have to turn it over. Look how awesome that's looking. Look at that. Yeah. That is sick. The good kind of sick, right? All right, and then right here, you need to throw an AP, is it AP? Yeah, AP screw in there. And then uh, guess what? We're done. Done with 84. And that leaves just one more to do tonight. All right, you done? Yeah. It looks perfect, dude. It really does. And we'll figure out that cable later. But um, that is it for 84. And we have one more issue to get through tonight. And it is uh, some more bulkhead stuff. Actually, the exterior of the bulkhead. So, But this looks awesome. Look at that. All that cool time machine stuff. And some stock DeLorean stuff, too. Right? Yep. What do you think? It's awesome. It is awesome.